Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. Today I've just got a quick one for you on how to make your Techno Parrot install portable. So you can put it in any folder, on any drive letter, and your games will run. Uh, this is not a tutorial on how to install Techno Parrot. There are tons of tutorials out there on how to install it. This is for anyone who already has it up and running, but they want to put it on a portable hard drive. Maybe the letter changes when you plug it into a different PC and your games won't run. I'll quickly show you how to fix that. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to where you have your Techno Parrot install. You can see mine is on drive letter E. Then I got my Techno Parrot and I'll launch it up. So I only have two games right now. I've got Spider-Man and Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing. So let me just launch a game. Anybody that knows Techno Parrot, it takes a while for it to launch, so I'll come back once it's booted. So now we're loading into Sonic Racing. And there we go. So the game's up and running. I'll exit out. And then Spider-Man. I'll just launch this. Same thing, I'm not going to make you wait. And then there we go, we got Spider-Man up and running. Exit out. And then I'll close it up. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Techno Parrot folder and right click, cut. I'm just going to paste it right on my desktop. Paste. And I'll be back once it copies over. Almost there. From E to desktop, and here it is. So I'm going to open it up, launch Techno Parrot UI. Now I've already fixed Spider Man, but I'll launch it up. This time I'm, I'm not going to. Pause the video. It shouldn't take too long, but I just want to show you guys that there's no trickery here. This is an easy fix. So hopefully it doesn't take too, too long. All right, here we go. So there we go, still running on my desktop. I'll exit out. I have not done the fix to Sonic All-Stars Racing, so if I go to launch game, it's telling me it can't find the game because I took it away from my E-Drive. But here's the easy fix for all of your games. We'll hit OK. We're going to exit out of Techno Parrot. And we're going to want to go into our inside of Techno Parrot folder, User Profiles, and you'll have one for each game. So if I right click my Spider-Man, I can go to edit with notepad. And what you're looking for is game path. So mine is set to ROMs slash Spider-Man slash game slash game.exe. If I go to my Sonic, it's telling me it's looking in E Techno Parrot ROMs. So from the letter R in ROMs or wherever your games are installed, make sure you take out the path as such. So now you're starting with ROMs instead of a drive letter and the word Techno Parrot. So file, save it, close. My ROM path is in Techno Parrot, ROMs, and then the game folder. Techno Parrot UI, Sonic, launch. No, no issues this time, no errors. This works on every single game for Techno Parrot that I've tried so far. I just made this a two game so that I could quickly move it back and forth from drive to drive. You don't have to watch it load, but I mean, I just want to make sure that no one thinks I'm doing 
anything behind the scenes. So there you go, the game launched. Exit out. So just like that guys, it's a simple fix to make your Techno Parrot portable. Nice and easy. Really appreciate you watching. Please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, but most importantly, have a good day.